Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you to our prayer, our power, and our of deliverance in Jesus' name. My name is Olusho Godaramola. I have a word for you tonight titled Overcoming My Fear. Overcoming My Fear. And before I proceed, I want us to pray together. Father, we want to thank you for this word tonight. We bless you for what you have done in our life. We thank you for this word tonight. And we know that, that our life will never remain the same after this word in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight I will be speaking on the title, Overcoming My Fear. What is your fear? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of failure in your marriage, in your home, over your children, in your academics? I mean, fear of deportation, fear of government, fear of joblessness, fear of whatever. I want to show you tonight there's hope for you in Christ. And the Bible, in the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7, it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of some mind. You can see that God is interested in your joy, in your happiness, in your home. You don't have to kill yourself. Don't think that that marriage cannot work again. Don't think that that family cannot be together again. Don't think that that children that you think that are not here yet are not coming. They're going to come. The barrenness is not your portion in Jesus' name. Failure is not your portion in Jesus' name. The fact that you fail does not make you a failure. Life is still working for you. Things shall work together for your good in the name of Jesus. Don't make fears to control your life. Don't make fear to create depressions for you. There's still joy for you. There's still hope for you. There's still tomorrow for you. Your tomorrow will be all right. Though tomorrow may be, today may be small, but the latter here shall greatly increase. Have the hope in God that Christ in me, the hope of glory. There's still hope for you. In the book of Isaiah 54, verse 4, it says, Fear not. You don't have to fear of failure. You don't have to fear of situation in your life. Just believe God that God will make everything work together for your good in the name of Jesus. I want to address you tonight and I want to assure you tonight there's still hope in Christ for you. There's still hope of tomorrow for you. And if you are hearing to me, to me tonight and you are listening to me all over the world, always tell fear I'm boss over my fear. I'm a boss over my fear. Be a boss over your fear. Don't let fear control you. Control your home. Control your marriage, control your children, control your job, control all your career. Just believe that God has made you victorious in the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you tonight. If you are under the influence of fear, I want to pray that the Lord will touch you and the healing power will set you free in the name of Jesus. And maybe you have not given your life to Jesus. This is a moment of joy, a moment of happiness. Without Christ, you are in crisis. If you give your life to Jesus tonight, I know that everything is going to work together for your good. If you want to pray with this prayer, short prayer with me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I want you to receive me. I want to give my life to you. I want all my sins to be washed away. I want to partner with you, and I want to be bearing your name. And I know that after this, my life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. If you have, listened, if you have confessed that, that word, I know it is yours in Jesus' name. Again, remember the word. I want to become boss over fear. And Isaiah said, Isaiah, in, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 4, fear not. And remember, in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And I know that law will touch you and your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming back again. Hallelujah. Amen.